today, a Q&A. So today we're going to be doing something a bit different. It's not going to involve me shooting guns, taking apart guns. It might involve a little bit of gun education, but we're going to do a Q&A. Before I get into that, I hit a thousand subscribers. We did it. I want to say thank you so much. This was a huge milestone for me, and uh, I'm just super happy about that. So thank you so much for the support. I do have a thousand subscriber special coming up. Uh, I'll let you know when that when that happens. Okay, back to the Q and A. For this video, like I said, it's going to be a Q and A, and at the end, I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of what's coming up. Uh, I got some product reviews, yada yada. We'll get into that. So I took to Twitter and Facebook and had people ask me questions. I told them they can ask me anything, and I got quite a few responses. I may not get to all the questions today, but I will sometime in the future. So uh, we're gonna go to Twitter first and look at those questions. Lady Red asked, excluding an American choice, do you have a favorite World War II era rifle that you'd like to own? Excluding American choice. I don't know, it's kind of a problem because I'm all about that America. America. Maybe the Russian Papa Shaw or uh, the British boys anti-tank rifle. That's more my speed. Kid Tino asked, what is your favorite gun and why? Ooh. Uh, probably the high point. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I like, all, I like all kinds of guns. I don't discriminate. Uh, I like all calibers, shapes, sizes. But I do have a gun that's probably emotionally my favorite, if that makes any sense. Uh, my dad gave me my first deer rifle. It was a Winchester 1894. It was a 30-30, and I, I don't know, that gun kind of just has a special place in my heart, I guess. You're a smart-ass, Carl, asked, what can gun owners do better when it comes to debating gun sense and Second Amendment rights? That's a good question. Uh, I think one of the biggest things, I think it's a two-parter. I think one of the biggest things is educate yourself. Know what you're talking about. Don't just spout random nonsense. Uh, don't immediately go on an insult spree. Uh, know your facts, know your sources. Also, I think it's super important, super important to understand who you're talking to. You know, a lot of anti-gunners, they've never handled the gun. They know nothing about true gun ownership other than what they see in movies and stuff. And they're coming from an emotional point. And it's very hard to talk to someone and try to debate with them when you're presenting hard facts and they're coming from emotions and whatnot. Uh, so, education and know who you're talking to. Wacko asked, what made you want to start your YouTube gun channel? Uh, it was either that or take over the world. And I thought this would be a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> no, I started out not on YouTube. I started out on Vine and I didn't have a gun channel. I did comedy and I had a pretty big Vine channel. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't quite what I was wanting to do. And Vine shut down and I already had a YouTube channel and I had one video up and it was a it was a review. And I was like, well, let's build from that. And I've been a gunsmith, I've been around guns my whole life, and I think what I'm trying to say is I wanted to share my love, my hobby of firearms, and I wanted to share it with the world. But I just, I didn't want to go out back and just shoot junk with my guns. I wanted to come from an educational standpoint and uh, really teach people what guns are, how they work, and the history of them, because it's part of American history. And Blair Stone asked, if you could have any gun from a video game, what would it be and why? Ooh, I like this. I'm a huge nerd for video games, especially Fallout. So I'm going to go with Fallout gun. Um, probably the Gauss rifle or the Fat Man. Because 
but he doesn't want a mini nuke launcher. When things get real, crack off a few nukes, no one's gonna be messing with you. I'd be all Kim Jong Un up in there, nuking everybody, hoarding all the food. Okay, that was the Twitter questions. Now we're gonna turn it over to Facebook and check those out. Damien asked, is an external safety necessary on a modern semi-automatic pistol? Mm, that really depends on the shooter, I guess, uh, and how comfortable you are carrying your gun. Some shooters would prefer one. It's, like I said, it's all preference. Me, personally? No, not really. Steven asked, is number four buck a viable alternative to double lot for home defense application? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, number four buck, uh, it's a little bit bigger in uh, diameter than a twenty two is. It's a uh, 6.8. 10 millimeter I believe I think that's correct and that's a lot of those inside that shell so I think it's a very good choice for home defense Wolfie asked what's the best gun for a female that has the least amount of recoil well all guns even 22s have some recoil it all depends on the size the weight of the gun actually uh, a heavier gun less recoil but it's a heavier gun so you know it's a give and take Rusty asked, what's the best casing for 9mm? Brass, aluminum, steel, and why? And what's the reason behind so many different types? Production cost. The best, by far, brass. Stick with what works. Uh, the steel, there's a lot of controversy around steel casings. Um, mainly about damaging your gun over time. I've shot a lot of steel. Modern firearms can handle it, as long as they're decent firearms. Uh, brass... The reason, what makes brass so good for uh, for firearms is it expands inside the chamber and seals, seals all those gases. So you're getting less back pressure from those gases. And they rapidly return to their original size and you can reload them. Aluminum, they're great if you're just a casual shooter and you don't care about reloading. Uh, steel casings, you can't reload those. They're... A lot cheaper to make and you know it's not tempered steel this is a mild steel so for steel it's soft Sean asked what is the most lethal bullet you can put in mr. Smith 9 millimeter for home defense and protection well if you ask G2 research they would say it'd be their rip round I've seen a lot of stuff done on this rip round rip stands for radically invasive projectile and the results I've seen from the testing has been pretty awesome but it's the internet so there's a lot of naysayers, and especially in the firearms world, there's a lot of naysayers. So, uh, bullets just kind of kill. You know, it's all about penetration. Your standard ball ammo, it's going to over-penetrate, but it'll kill just as much as a hollow point. Hollow points, now they do have a different function. They don't penetrate as far, but they release all that energy very quickly. It disperses throughout the body very quickly now the rip round when it goes in it breaks into different pieces and goes in different directions so it's like the spread of a shotgun but it doesn't happen until it ha hits your body so it'd be a little hard to clean up i would think if i was a medical professional daniel asked do guns kill people or do people kill people wesley asked who makes the best ar <laughs> Wesley already knows the answer to this. Uh, Wesley works for Anderson Rifles. He already knows I absolutely love Anderson Rifles, especially their RF-85 rifles. Those things are just the bee's knees. Uh, my my RF-85 rifle, I haven't cleaned it in over a year, and it is still running great. So, I'm going to have to go with Anderson. I know it might be a Kentucky bias, but hey, it is what it is. Phil asked, will my Taurus MD-85 safely shoot plus P ammo, and will the recoil be too much for my wife? Yes, and I don't know. Depends on how strong your wife is and how much experience she has shooting. Jimmy asked, what is your thought on the Taurus G2 9mm? The Taurus G2, for the price, you really can't beat it. Josh asked, what's a great first firearm for your son or daughter? Ooh. Uh, let's see, 
Keystone Port Sporting <laughs> Keystone Sporting Arms. Uh, they have a gun called the 22 Cricket. It's a really great gun. It's lightweight, single shot, bolt action. You know, it really depends on your kid. Uh, most firearm stores they'll let you try out guns. Just see what works for your kid. For my daughter, I chose the Paige Lewis Model D. Single shot, bolt action. It's very light, decently balanced, and as you've seen her shoot, she picked up the fundamentals very well. For my son, I got the Stevens Model 1915. It's a rolling block, single shot, again. It's a very accurate rifle, and uh, it works out great for him. It's a little heavier than the, the one I got for my daughter, but for him, it works out great. I got one of these when I was 10. This is the Marlin Model D. Semi-auto, it was 18 shot, and I can hit almost anything with that rifle. Love that rifle. And you know, it was a little big for my frame, but it worked out. It's gonna do it for the questions. If you couldn't tell, I was a little bit uncomfortable doing this. I've never done a video like this before on this channel, so it was just something new. Um, I had fun answering your questions. Uh, I had to do a lot of thinking on some of those because thinking don't come natural to some people. But seriously, uh, I'm probably going to do one of these again in the future and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, real, real quick, let's talk about my giveaway because who doesn't like free stuff? Everybody likes free stuff. I'm giving away a 10 inch steel gong target from Challenge Targets. It's AR500 steel and it's rifle rated. But in order for you to be entered in that, you have to follow the link that I'm going to leave below. Even if you're a subscriber, you have to enter through the link. Now, my R15 giveaway, that's for the 10K mark. And if you're subscribed, you're automatically entered if your subscriptions are public. Now, let's get into the upcoming videos. Now, either tomorrow or Monday, the Hypershock video will be up. Testing out some of this. Hyper shot, it should be good. Then sometime in the near future, I'm gonna be testing what's in this evidence bag. What's that, you might ask? Oh, it's just a ghost gun. No, it's from EP Armory, and it's a plastic 80% lower and all the goodies to go with it. So we're gonna build that, and that's gonna be a pretty cool video. You're gonna wanna check that out. And check out EP Armory. We'll leave a link to that in the description below. But that's not all. There's going to be much, much more content coming. I plan on posting at least once a week and more if my schedule works out will work. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. I had a ton of fun answering your questions. I hope you had fun watching them. And be sure to subscribe. And comment. I love to hear your comments. I love to hear your feedback. Keep it PC. I have children. And as always, stay safe and keep shooting America. Full beard manly.